Hey everyone, it's Kitty. There's an owl on my sweater and welcome back. Um, unboxing. You'll see from the title. I'll show you the box in a second. This came with him um, as the little gift, not gift, but it's like an ad, but it's also a little art piece. I don't remember when he came in. December, beginning of January. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, so, don't know if you guys remember this, but does if you watched the video or not, I don't know. But I had a Lulu sugar that came in, and like the inside of the box, the plastic was like greasy for some reason. This box on top of it is greasy. I don't know if the whole box is no. Just just the just the top of the box. Okay, so this is the Yuri Lowell and Repeat figure. Repeat a repeat deputy de, de, I don't know whatever anyways he's big figure big box the top is like greasy I you can't really tell um but but it is and it's been like in paper so I don't know how it could get greasy so it must have come greasy because I've had it like in its packaging I literally just took it out of the like paper cover they put it in so it doesn't get scratched on um or during transit so I'm just going to wipe that off so I don't have to deal with that. Hopefully there is already my dog's hair on it. It's fantastic. Um, did I, you, whatever. I can't do anything. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. This figure is by Alter. I believe it is, is it a 1 8th? I think it's 1 8th. It might be a 1 7th. Oh, he might be 1 7th. I don't know. What does it say? It's 1 8th ignore me. So this is a box. You get your kind of altar um, signature clear plastic box. The box is super pretty. I love how they did the like tree. By the way, it's from Tales of Asperia. If you do not know, it's a video game. <laughs> um, no, I have not beaten it. I played, I don't remember, I played fairly far into it back in high school and then um, it wasn't my game that was my cousin's and I wasn't able to complete it at the time. So here's the back. He's so pretty in this outfit. I still really want the original Altair uh, figure of him. Unfortunately, they have not re-released him and he's quite expensive elsewhere. So I haven't bothered ordering him. Um, maybe one day when I have more money. But they did release this one of him and I really wanted a figure of Yuri at least at least a figure of him. And it comes with the dog so I had to order it. Um, yeah, so let us open him up. This is big box, big box. I, I like Alter's boxes because they're really like unique and they're really pretty. The only thing I don't like about them is that when you store them or they just sit or get shipped to you, whatever, they tend to get very scratched up. So that is a thing that I don't like. But this box is ticking boxes for me because, like, look at that purple. But it's, like, a metallic purple. You know what I mean? It's really nice. It's good. It's good. Ooh, this is actually, like, is this crazy? Wow! The smell. <laughs> Strong with this one. Um, I'm trying to... Is it... Don't judge me. <laughs> is it just... Is it the inside plastic that's greasy? It feels greasy. Am I crazy? I don't understand. I still don't understand. And like, not, I haven't been reading all my comments yet. I will get to them. It's just been a lot and kind of stressful and I've been putting it off. I apologize. I will at some point go through the comments and try to respond to everybody. Um, but I don't think anybody has replied saying that they've experienced that before or that they haven't, at least. Maybe I should stop touching it. So that when I take the figure out, he's not going to get gross. I'll just wipe my fingers off. It's fine. It's cool. We're good. I don't like the way that tape is. It's like bubbled. Anyways, this is the one thing I don't like about these boxes. Is it's kind of hard to get the figure out. Oh, God. The inside of the box is... I'll show you. Give me a second. Oh, instructions. As you can see in the back, it is this pretty purple sky, purple black sky with a big ass star in the middle. It's very nice. So we gonna set me over here. 
It's greasy and it's weird, guys. It's weird. Oh, see, it's using... Okay, mm. same plastic they used for Lelouch's figure. So a lot of figures just come with, like, clear, clear plastic. He comes with the same... That's a Lucius figure. He was also greasy. We'll see if this one is actually greasy or if it's just the outer box. Crossing my fingers, it's just the outer box. Here are the lovely instructions on how to put him together. There's a lot of tape on the sides. This is how he's packaged. We have the base on the bottom here in the plastic. We've got Yuri in the on the side here and then we've got Rapide. If I'm saying that wrong, don't sue me. Um, yeah, we've got our Peter here. He's so cute. I'm so excited. I really want a Yuri figure in general, but I'm almost more excited for repeat than I am for Yuri in this figure set. Don't ask. He's a dog with a knife in his mouth, okay? Like, if you ain't excited about that, there's something wrong. Top this off. We've got some plastic protectory things to keep them from rubbing on the box. Let's do the base first so I have somewhere to actually put them. That would make sense. So the base. Also in this plastic, we're going to slide it all out. It smells so it's like this plastic that smells really strong. Not even, it's him too, but like also this plastic. Oh wow, the base is so pretty. Is it black? Is it blue? I mean purple? Is it just black? I think it's just black. My lighting in here is not great. Um, yeah, it's just black. So it has like this beautiful night sky looking stuff. It says Tales of Vesperia. This one is not incorrectly printed like the Lush figure. Um, this one is printed correctly is what I mean. Uh, but yeah, it has this nice detailing here. It's actually kind of um, slit, not really raised, but like the ink itself comes off of the base. So you can feel the texture of the design here. Um, I'm mucking it up with my fingers. Please ignore me. But yeah, this is the base. Very pretty. Ooh, I'll set that down. Um, I'm gonna pull this out quick to show you before I put it back in so I can get him out. But we have a lovely sword here. I do have Yuri's Nendroid, which I'm very happy about. But I, Alter, Alter, you're not watching this. No one, well, some people are watching this, but like barely anyone is watching this. But Alter, if you are watching, which you're not, but re-release the OG Yuri figure with Flynn, please. Yuri and Flynn, please, please, for my, for my collection I need. Yeah, we got a sword here. Very cool. We'll save the dog for last. Oh, the plastic is just kind of just chilling on top, so we will just set that down. And I hope my fingers aren't gross from, like, the box being greasy. We will grab him. He just slides. Oh my god, he's... I alter figures just tickle me in places <laughs> like ugh, the way they do the paint on like it's like metallic red and the shading is so nice and all his fingernails are painted I'm really weird and I love painting fingernails I'm sure you know this if you watch my channel if you don't now you know not that you needed to um but yeah here is his fancy boots and fancy him and I just touched Rapide's knife with his boot so let's not do that um as always I will take a closer look of him with uh like a closer up camera and I will upload that video as well I will link that in the description below so if you want to check out like a better angled view where I go and show the whole figure do that go check that out please um I will link that in the description. Anyways, his ponytail is so pretty. So I think I forgot to mention, this is like an alternate outfit he can get in the game. Um, he's pretty. Okay, so I do see a few paint spots here. Honestly, a little surprised. Um, I do expect better of Alter, but it's not that big of a deal. And from far away, like you won't really notice, I don't think. I'll show you during the close-up. But yeah, so this is him. I'm just going to pop him on the base. Here's the base. This is the front of the base. This is the back of the base. He goes angled like so. Okay, I'm going to put him on now. I hate putting these pegs on. 
because their feet never line up properly. So you always have like one foot in and one foot that you have to slightly maneuver. And he is one of those. So I bent his leg a little bit. I almost dropped it on my face. We're fine. And that's him. So he kind of sits on more of the front half of the base. Um, side front half. I don't know. My God, his tail is so big. I'm so excited. He's going to balance up the, ba the base, I assume. So. Oh, is my boy taped in? Oh, my boy is taped in, I think. Can I have my boy? Oh, this piece? Okay. I see. I see what's going on. This piece was blocking his tail. We're good. Can I pull him out now? Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, mm. His chain is taped. His chain is taped in. Oh my god, he's a little, little pop pad, little feety prince. I'll show you in a second. Oh, he's still taped on there. There's a lot. And then he's also got some foam on his back to keep him protected. I hope I remember how to put him back in here when I inevitably have to move. Because, uh, where the fuck did this piece come from? Oh no, I don't know where that piece came from. That wasn't from him. Um, and the chain is taped inside this little plastic doohickey. It has this, like, sticky material that looks a little inappropriate. He's so cute. <laughs> Look at his tail. <laughs> I love him. Ignore me. I'm just freaking out. He even has like his little hilt and those little weird puffy legs. This is supposed to do something. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Look at his tail. He's amazing. Please watch the closer look because I will show you better views of him. His tail. I love his tail. It's so good. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. His little his little bracelet ring thing on his tail. He's such a fancy dog with his mohawk. And his little missing eyeball. I love him. What's fun about the game too is you can actually like play as him or fight as him. So when you're in like the battle mode or whatever, you just, you you get to run around and be him and like fight people. You be, you get to play as a dog with a, with a knife, like a big sword knife. It's great. Look at his little feet prints. I won't be able to show this in the closer look because he'll be like put on the base. So you won't be able to see that. So this is an unboxing exclusive. Look at his little toe beans. They made toe beans. I'm happy. I'm just going to put him on the base. There's two more pegs down here and he has two pegs in these two feet. Okay, that took longer than I would have liked. Um, I don't have his feet completely on the base because his feet are actually super, super tight there. Uh, I'm just going to leave him with a little bit of space so I don't force it too much. But that's what it looks like. There is a tiny plastic thing. So that little plastic thing I mentioned, yeah, this is kind of important. It's, it's, part, of, it's part of the base. It's actually part of one of his feet. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a little, not a boot, but it's like a a thing that holds his foot. It's in my sleeve. It's in my sleeve. Found it. Um, so you put his little foot like in there and it keeps it like elevated, I guess. It's on the second back foot that's pulled in the one with the base actually. Um, so I guess you put it like that. That's a weird design choice. I lied. It's not a boot. I actually finally looked at the thing. It's apparently wrong foot. Um, it's actually like a support for his little fur thing to help be a base. I'm confused. So I do put him back on the stubs and then you slide that underneath his little tuft of fur on the second last foot. That's like pulled inward, if that makes sense. Like, like, like this. I was hella confused for a second. Um, again, not the brightest bulb, apparently. Ignore me. I don't quite fully understand what the point of this little plastic boot, um, behind his foot is right here. It just kind of looks stupid. Uh, I don't think it really adds any support. It's kind of loose in there. And I did try to push his foot as far down on the base as possible now that I know that it was supposed to be like that. But it pretty much looks like this, which is pretty cool looking. Um, 
I enjoy them both. I'm going to put his sword in now. There's also instructions for that. Yay. So, um, you just kind of slot. Put it upside down. Great. We got it now. Okay. So you kind of just like angle it sideways and like slide in between his fingers and kind of just like bend them a little bit, like push it up there. If that makes sense. Um, and that's what it looks like like that. So he's really gorgeous. That was longer than I would have liked. I'm going to edit quite a bit of it out of me just trying to figure, trying to get his base on. Getting a little boot on his leg. Um, and he has this funky chain going on. It's quite, like, it's kind of bendy, but it's solid. It's not like a bendable chain. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Here is the figure. Yay, yay, yay. I'm very excited. I hope I have enough space because his base is gigantic and I, for some reason, didn't take that into account when I thought of putting him in the specific case he's going to be in. I plan to put him in that case on the bottom, but those are already fairly large figures. So we'll see how this goes. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll link the, the closer look in the description below. You can check out my social media and my affiliate links through CG Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. Purchase anything through those links. I get a small commission, so thank you so much. Really appreciate it if you do. Anyways, you guys have a good night. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.